Hi there! Welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. We've got side content to talk about. <laughs> Apparently an hour's worth. Also, we've already begun wearing the kind of clothes that Noctis actually wears. Which sure is about this? Basically the kind of clothes that I wear, I guess. This shitty... <laughs> This is a t-shirt and jeans, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know what? We're not doing anything, like, super serious. Let's wear something trendy. Yeah. I can't wait to see the absolute garbage you can make him wear later on. We'll oh. get to that uh, eventually. God! <laughs> I forgot that, that side content would include <laughs> justice monsters. Fuck this game. <laughs> Yeah, we need to talk about Justice Monsters 5. I'm not it's, interested until I see Justice Monsters 4. It's uh, it's pinball, but it's bad. It's not pinball, <laughs> it's... I thought it would be pinball, and I love pinball. This is not that. It's more pachinko, actually. So, uh, your character just kind of goes back and forth on the bottom, and then you hold the button to charge up so that they fly into the enemies and hurt them, and occasionally the enemies attack. Uh, there is not much more to this, and I am never touching it again now that we have gotten it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to point out here that this is exactly how it sounds in the game. I didn't remove the music, like, recording off my PlayStation didn't do nothing. This is exactly how empty it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Just a gaping void with hideous sound effects. Yeah, and then you get to the boss and death metal starts playing. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think this is an Avenged Sevenfold riff. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh no, wait. It's more closer to like one from Metallica. I, I don't have much to say about Justice Monsters 5. It kind of sucks. <laughs> These sprites are very not nice looking. I played it one time for entirely too long and got an R8 score and was like, oh, I wonder what I get from this that was like one item that was really easily obtainable anywhere else. And I was like, nah, I'm done with Justice Monsters. Yeah, we played one round, let's go. Anywho, uh, you may notice that I grabbed a hunt, but you can only do that hunt at nighttime, which is a real dumb idea. So I'm thinking, hey, let's just go do some actual content. Oh, wait, there's a side quest over here. Hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Hidden with all the cocaine was a package for Dave. <laughs> Cindy's web of lies spins ever greater. <laughs> Mechanic by day, cartel runner by night. <laughs> well, look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Wait, so that guy couldn't walk across the street and hand it to this guy? <laughs> I forgot his name is actually Dave. Fuck. Found another one. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep him on our person at all times as identification. What's up with this dad rock? <laughs> More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger. Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. <sighs> if y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there... People die? Wow, I never would have guessed. Hi, I'm Noctis. <laughs> <laughs> Word is, somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Just how sheltered are you, Noctis? In the right direction. I don't think Prompto knew what money was in the last episode, so... Yeah, Dave really is like the protagonist of a mid '80s return them cover shooter that has just been trapped in a JRPG. Let's start by following up on that. Also, I tried to jump on top of that car and it it didn't go. Pathetic. <laughs> what would you like? 
I really like how all the guys are just kind of sitting there normally, and then Prompto is just wiggling his legs constantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of nice little animation touches in this. Yeah. Sure, I'll bring that right out. Also, let's buy some fries. Oh my god. Kenny's fries. Ignis, are you pre are you pretending that you made that? I dare say I could make this a cow. Ignis, you piece of shit, the chef is right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? I could make that at camp if I had a deep fryer. <laughs> Which I guess Ignis has a deep fryer with him. Ignis is going to go back to telling artists his commissioning that he could do better than they can. <laughs> I'm just saying that's this is like the one time where Ignis could look at a recipe and be like, I know how to do that. I should do that. Because it's just fucking french fries. <laughs> it's just fried potatoes. Indeed. It came from there. We have to go for the majestic saber tusk. I <laughs> what those are called. Most of these quests just seem to be... That the hunters are very bad at their job and you just have to clean up after their mess. Maybe this way? Yeah, just a bit. Also, I'm going up here and I immediately notice stuff. <laughs> uh, the movement in this game could be a little wonky. The hunt is on. <laughs> What's the enemy's movements? I'm done. Yep, right, got it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, side content, uh, or the side quests, rather, tend to just kind of be this sort of thing. Go to a place, fight some stuff, so and so and so and so. Look around in bushes for a gleaming silver light. Never miss! Also, Ignis' move is a little useful when you've got groups of enemies, but it kind of failed there. <laughs> What does it do usually? Uh, usually he'll throw, like, daggers into every enemy that he can see, and then Noctis gets a bunch of free warp strikes on them. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, it, like, it's alright when you've got enough, like, low-level enemies that you just want to get rid of real quick. So it's more of, like, a mob-clearing uh, synergy than basically anything useful on a single target, for single target damage. Yeah, uh, when you're starting the game, the oh, nice most here. powerful single target technique is definitely Prompto's. Because he just aims his gun and shoots them in the face. <laughs> I do like that Prompto's ability is just gone. Yeah, uh, there's actually a candid excuse for that. Found one already, huh? You done good. As it turns out, uh, Prompto doesn't have any actual combat training. Other than like the most minor stuff that he learned three days before the game starts. Up over the lives of the hunters. So he just grabbed a Glock. Pretty much. Uh, that also explains why he runs into the middle of a fight despite the fact that he uses a gun. <laughs> Forever. This is definitely not just them uh, trying to cover up the fact that their AI is a little stupid. <laughs> collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Oh man, collectibles. Yeah. So, uh, let's show off the hunts a bit. But first, uh, we have to get there. Let's drive our car to where the monsters are so we can fight <laughs> them. <laughs> Also, don't fast travel, because it's going to take us a minute to get there, and it takes like two and a half minutes to load the damn game. <laughs> uh, I'll just note as well, I quite like the pause menu, where all the boys are just uh, having a GQ photo shoot. <laughs> That's a pretty good way of putting it. Anywho, this is our new song for going into battle. <laughs> 
there's a lot of people on the internet who are real happy about that. <laughs> Only it changed your main characters to have like eight polygons in their body. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the landscapes in this game. Yeah, th this game's real pretty when the textures aren't being kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Also, I like how the boys just do different little things when they're sitting around in the car. I find it kind of funny though that Noctis sits in the back while Pronto gets shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, Gladio might be the world's slowest reader because he will never turn that page. <laughs> He's just analyzing it really closely. He's trying to learn his calligraphy. <laughs> Man, I need to learn Japanese at some point so I can read this book. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Ouch. <laughs> Jesus, Ignis. So, uh, before we go off on that quest, I noticed this billboard over here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wonder who sponsored this game. Uh, we may never know. Colvin. Now, if you'll excuse me, we need to go camping with our Coleman brand Coleman gear. <laughs> how free we are out here. Yep, far cry from life back home. So, uh, before we go off on this hunt, I decide, you know what, I'm gonna rest up. I've got enough to, like, get an extra level. Plus, I want to just, like, look at photos, eat some food. We're here. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. So when Ignis cooks, do you need ingredients or can you just make uh, whatever's there? Sometimes when you see like names of foods, that means that it requires a uh, like sort of ingredients to make. I went with the toast, which you can make at any time, no matter how much you have. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> fucking hell, Ignis, you didn't even butter it. Some fucking toast. <laughs> That's the most passive aggressive meal I've seen. Also, I kind of let this sit on this or animation for a bit because it's really good. <laughs> That gun is definitely loaded and not on the safety. <laughs> Put that gun down, Prompto, you horrible child. I really like Noctis just, like, shaking his head like, you're a dumbass. <laughs> so that's it. Of course, I have to save the Kenny Crow photo. Yeah. <laughs> and also that one. <laughs> good photo. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what What's blowing out an image? Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Also, hey, it's our buddy Joe Carbuncle. <laughs> <laughs> Just halfway in the ground. <laughs> Also, he's got that DreamWorks race going on. You know I'm saving that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in my time playing this the first time around, I never saw this, because I didn't even know this could happen until just now. Trouble you a moment, Noct. Yeah? I could use your help in the morning. Me and mornings don't usually get along. Might if you help me make breakfast. Yeah, like if you camp in certain places at certain points in the game, most important meal. Well, then. you'll get these little oh, it is. side bits. 
Uh, this one's kind of neat, though. Because you uh, have to help your crooked buddy cook a food. Yeah, it's a tour where you don't go anywhere. <laughs> the key is to let the pot simmer without ever letting it burn. How do I do that? A few stirs here and there should suffice. A few stirs? Uh, I never stop stirring. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't seem to change anything if you do or don't. Although it, uh, it takes me a second when's to figure out how to stir things. Um, too long ago to remember. Back when you were a part-time cook. Sounds right. But even back then, I was pretty much just winging it. <laughs> Hardly what I'd call cooking, I imagine. I like the idea that, like, Noctis was a part-time cook, so what, you weren't late like at Denny's? Oh, let's see how things <laughs> are stewing. Hmm. Also, uh, that's a bit misleading. It tells you to, like, shake the stick back and forth, but you're actually supposed to spin it. Oh, boy. Not at all, if you don't mind telling me what this cooking class is all about. Also, it really annoys me that it, Noctis just has his arm, like, behind him, like, not doing anything with it. <laughs> that's bad form! That's bad form! Never stop worrying about me. My royal duty, per His Majesty. Your hobby. Are you saying that you stir with both hands? No, I'm saying when I have one arm free, it's usually behind my back or somewhere that's done to like not just Excellent. freely si sitting there. Mmm. <laughs> Sweet are the fruits of one's own labor. Not half bad. You must be eager to learn more of the gunnery arts. Actually, I'm eager to leave the cooking to you. My half-baked scheme, up in smoke. Womp womp. <laughs> How did you fancy returning to the stove? Can't complain. It's not so bad every once in a while. Just not first thing in the morning. No, no. The world at dawn is full of wonders. Yeah, can't wait to marvel at them all. Dawn tomorrow? I'll marvel at my own pace. You were just stirring a pot, knocked. You were a big help. That's it. Yeah. Is the pace of Marvel like one to two movies a year? Uh, four, I think. Four, four currently? I think so. Anywho, now that we've rested up and made a stew, uh, let's go actually fight some sh shit. Anyway, uh... I'm interested in seeing if we get any more of those little character building, uh, events. Yeah, uh, hopefully they come up a little bit more. You're on fire! Ugh. What can I say? Uh, I can't promise that they will, because I don't know what triggers them, but, uh, yeah. if they do pop up, they will definitely show up. Yeah. Also, that worked out. <laughs> hey! Where'd you learn that one, Doc? Where'd you learn that move where you just hit a guy, not? <laughs> <laughs> also, now that I'm a spectator to this, I can appreciate a lot of the uh, little animations, like Prompto getting knocked on his ass and just kind of shaking around, going like, ah, no, please no. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can appreciate how many times the animation just, like, you miss, but it <laughs> yeah. didn't, actually. Yeah. Anywho, before we turn that, uh, hunt in, let's go do a different one. And here's some new enemies, finally. Uh, these horses wreck my day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that damage output doesn't seem so great. Yes! Yeah. Wanna team up? Stay close. Got it. Ha! But, uh, we do get a little, like couple things of me like doing forms and stuff like that forcing us to actually get closer in on the uh, mechanics of this game <laughs> how dare they <laughs> nice now it's time to go to town also yeah these guys have a lot of health it's kind of ridiculous for this early game <laughs> Anywho, Ignis actually works out this time, and we get to see what it does. I'll cover! Also, I just noticed one of um, 
Prompto's melee attacks is just a shitty axe kick. Uh, so I'm, I'm almost dead, and I really don't want to be almost dead, so uh, let's point warp and heal up a bit. <laughs> When's, uh... Also, whenever you use one of these techniques, Noctis becomes invulnerable uh, for the duration of... <laughs> so it's really good if, like, an enemy is using a big attack that you can't dodge. <laughs> When's Prompto try to do a spinner Rooney? <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> I really like how Prompto looks, like you said, he, he's not trained, so he looks generally awkward in his, when he's fighting. Yeah, just a uh, hell yeah. Nice one. Also, I missed the uh, follow-up, and I feel real bad about that. So just to ask, if Noctis goes down, is that just game over, like in a... Final Fantasy 13, I believe. Uh, when you go into, like, so the way when you get knocked down, your maximum health starts going down slowly but surely. And then once that is fully down, you go into death state where you have like 10 seconds or so to activate a Phoenix down. It's a little friendly to, like, get knocked down. Except in a couple of cases. But, uh. That was a close. That's like way farther into the game, so let's not worry about it. Alive. <laughs> Wanna go check it out? What is it? So, how's it going, boys? So, whatever you do, Hans, you can turn them in, and you'll get like a star for each of them. And as you rank up, you'll get more hunts in uh, different areas that are harder and give you better shit. So, uh, it, it's weirdly Monster Hunter-esque in some ways. Yeah, I was about to say. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Let's talk to Sid. <laughs> How y'all doing? Stand up straight, boy. You slacking off. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. Oh, my aching back. Stand up straight, boy. That's a good voice he's got. <laughs> Is he just used us from Courage the Cowardly Dog now? Return the car or suffer the contract. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, while I gotcha. I want Cindy to have the same, like, lines of dialogue as Sid. Oh my, he can make Promise. That's a good camera angle. So, uh, we can turn, or turn it into the Regalia Type D, but, uh, we'll do that at some other point. Also, I think I have a skin on or something because changing this did absolutely interior? nothing. Yeah, you could go surprisingly in depth on uh, how you want to customize the regalia. How it's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> uh, not as in depth as in Forza Horizon well, 3. What I can do for her. How about where if I know? wanted to, I could <laughs> put anime babes on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> How about the decals? Hey, let's just go with the one we had already. Oop. I hope at some point we get to make it look like a razor mouse. I'll just sit tight now. This is one of those games where if you hit uh, the cancel button to leave the menu on here, it's like, hey, are you sure you want to cancel? She's all ready for you. Have a look. Uh, submit. Anyways, I guess we could go do some actual yep. story now. All right. So I'm once again trying to find the absolute right song. And holy shit, I found the best driving song in the game. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the song's real good. It kind of reminds me of something from a TV. Oh, 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 so just to reconfirm, when Ignis is driving, that's basically just an autopilot in the car. Yeah, uh, Ignis is autopilot. Uh, when Noctis is the driver, then one has to drive that. Oh yeah, yeah. I just noticed there's a progress bar at the top of the screen. Uh, this comes up in certain cases, though. Uh, Ignis refuses to drive at night because he's a <laughs> Also, I see this uh, house on the side of the road here, and I'm like, you know what? I want to see if there's anything there. Go from here. So let's pull over the middle of the street and run over there. Nobody from the Crowd City's got any manners. <laughs> so I'm looking, looking. Oh, hey, there is a thing. It's a bone. <laughs> Ooh, you got a material. Good for you. I got a material that I got from all of the saber tusks. <laughs> so I'm assuming the. You can use these to craft weapons or upgrade weapons. Cast. Uh, most of them are just things you sell uh, after nice. the first like, two missions of Chapter 2, which like, basically go into the family. Uh, Sid will start asking you uh, for like materials to upgrade certain weapons. Like You notice yeah. how the engine blade has like a little yellow plus on the bottom left? Uh, yeah. any, any weapon that has that icon on it can be upgraded by Sid. And if you find the right parts, you can upgrade the engine blade into the ultimate blade, which is uh, really great, except you can also do it halfway through the game, so you have the most powerful sword in the game for most of your time playing. In my heart, Steven word is just coming peace. Also, Lady Luna Frey is saying something boring as usual. Historic moment. Noctis's wonderful wife to be. How are we playing the radio and also listening to the radio? <laughs> <laughs> or like play the CD? You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the. I just imagine this, like, that during this newscast coming on and not just turning the newscast down and the music up. <laughs> Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. A ladyship seems nevertheless... I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about how much I like this song. It's real good. <laughs> What's that? I do? And the worst part is only like the first two bars of it play in Kid's Glaive, but it's an entire like three and a half minute long song. <laughs> also, you can't move the camera around while you're in the car. I just keep forgetting to do so until like right here. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. Damn it, Noctis. Oh, kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. That's a weird looking island. It'll probably never come up again. Great. Something to look There's nothing sinister about that. Also, the song ends at the perfect time. <laughs> it's like the LP's editing itself. Here we are. I wanted Ignis nice. to stop really fast and, like, just prompto hurls out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> no one in this game can park straight. <laughs> Damn it. Somebody's gonna have to keep a counter of how many times I jump will try to interact with something. <laughs> gonna be too many. <clears throat> oh, uh, so, remember how I said we were gonna do some story content? <laughs> yep. I, I lied. Fuck that, we're going <laughs> fishing. Oh. 
we're gonna do Noctis's favorite pastime that he literally never mentions ever. Respooling the line. Have a look at this, Noct. Because the way everyone else talks about that, it sounds like it's the most important part of fishing. <laughs> Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of remember that we don't have any money. <laughs> Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one fish. Find out. You can catch fish, Prompto. I'm gonna catch me a fabulous boot. Show time. Also, I love that you summon a fishing pole the exact same way you summon your swords. <laughs> it says a lot about Noctis that, like... You can only assign a certain number of weapons to that, like, magic device that lets them summon weapons out of thin air, and Noctis always has a fishing pole in there. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, you can kind of see where stuff is uh, in the minimap. Uh, the yellow are, like, actual fish, the blue are treasure. I didn't realize that until the game told me that a bit later. <laughs> So I'm sitting here wondering, why isn't this blue thing trying to, like, grab my line? So let's just go for some actual fish. Also, this is like the one time where I appreciate there's no music. Because you kind of want fish to just be peaceful. Well, these fish do not give a shit. Well, it doesn't matter. We're fishing here until we get that damn frog to bite. Get a good cast like that. <laughs> Froggy, where <laughs> are you? <laughs> then we gotta do it like three more times. <laughs> Please stand by for my multi-chapter crossover fic where Noctis and 2B from Near Automata have a fish off. Y'all, let me tell you, it is a good thing I don't have a PSVR, because if I did, we would also find a way to LP the fishing game for this. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we caught a fish. Or Is this playing the battle theme? No, it's playing a different theme, but... Fishing has its own unique battle theme. <laughs> 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 and it's a pretty good one. Anywho, uh, you basically want to, like, pull it in and let go so you don't break the line from the tension. And when the game tells you to, like, hold the stick in a certain direction, you can do so to decrease the tension. And it's surprisingly, like, deeper than you would think for a fishing game in a Final Fantasy game. Huh? Great job, Noct. Look how proud he is of that fish. <laughs> I like the uh, bite clock that he's jammed yeah. through its mouth. And I haven't even fished. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, Prompto, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we caught a fish. Let's stop. I got a good amount of use out of fishing in this game because fishing gives you like I was gonna say does leveling it up do anything like decent for Noctis ah it makes him better at fishing and like I said uh, the like harder to catch fish are actually really really good ingredients so. If you want recipes that give you, like, a ton of additional, like, attack power and HP and stuff. Only you can keep our nest safe. <laughs> Prompt, I didn't know you were famous. Yeah, uh, the game likes to do, like, snapshot contests. Uh, the third one was, uh, based on Prompto and ended before I got the game. And then, like, the Ignis one that I didn't even realize was going on ended like a week or two ago. Uh, 
because it kind of comes up in the next episode <laughs> for a short second. I've just recognized this location because this is where it had that glitch that turned the sea to blood. <laughs> I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an innovation. We're meeting a character from another game. Turn ship. It's like we're playing <laughs> Dissidia. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> also, Noctis is real bad with his reaction times if you can't even catch a damn coin. Your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I guess we're never going to see that guy again. Never, ever. That man was wearing five different scarves. <laughs> Being closed. I'm skeptical, although I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Mm, this is amazing. It's weird that you see guys with that guy with his outfit around all these like staff and people who are just in jeans and t-shirts. Yeah, like even Noctis in like that cutscene because of the clothes we're wearing. <sighs> like normally he's wearing this weird like black jacket and cargo pants. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, let's let's take a run out on the dock. There's probably something over here. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, there we go. Oh, that was surprisingly worth it. I think that's an upgrade thing for the blade. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things that Sid wants for the extra blade. But we'll get to that. <laughs> Notice you missed the collectible back on that bridge. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any fucking Dino. <laughs> Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Hey, I'm photography in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break your legs if you don't do the things I need you to do. Noticed. At least not by NYC Dino voice. This reporter has integrity. <laughs> Why is he such a like Italian stereotype when nobody else in this game is? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Capiche. This fucking horrible tie. Also, I can't believe we're being blackmailed. We're the prince. <laughs> much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Does Dino work for the Daily Mail or something? Some kind. Of... Uh, I don't think they ever mentioned where he works. Uh, most of his like content after this is just, "Hey, I found out there's another jewel in an area. Please go find it for me." <laughs> Noctis's real father revealed. <laughs> Picture of a fucking yep. saber tusk. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Dino's character arc doesn't end with him hacking a dead girl's phone. Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep not playing that song because I know it pisses you off. Hang <laughs> <laughs> me down. Wow, driving in Final Fantasy 15 when you're not doing it is even more boring. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly like riding in a car in real fucking life. <laughs> Look, man, I gotta show when we're going off to plot locations. 
Ah, make sure you stop for gas before the tank runs dry. We're only at full. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite thing is there's upgrades you can get later on for the uh, fuel tank. But, like, why would you ever need them? (laughs) You can already drive across, like, the entire map on a full tank. <laughs> Anywho, we need to go find a jewel for Dino. Probably an easy job. Can't imagine anything interesting will happen. I don't know why I keep leading in with that. I mean, can't imagine anything interesting will happen is a pretty good thing you could say for most of this game. (laughs) Stuff. Damn it. It's always the (laughs) shit you can paint your car with. Gee. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. Anywho, let's, uh, let's have a stealth segment. Tactical stealth action. Metal Gear Noctis. Also, I'm trying to get the uh, threat meter to go away, but it's it's not doing because I keep forgetting that uh, this is more or less a scripted segment. (laughs) Yeah. More importantly than those gemstones, get that choco bean. <laughs> There's something about the phrase or the word choco bean that I don't like it. <laughs> uh oh. Anywho, I uh, we should probably move out of the way, but I forget we could do that. <laughs> whoops that is not the first or the last time I will die from some or almost die from something stupid at the end of a fight (laughs) made it out alive barely I seriously thought we were at journey's end also Gladio somehow found an antidote okay indeed (laughs) he pickpocketed it from that giant bird So, uh, as mentioned before, Ignis refuses to drive at night because demons will show up, and, uh, demons are way higher leveled than we are at the moment, so let's just go camp out instead. Oh, but first, there's stuff. That's it! What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. (laughs) I could taste test for you. Do the jewels do anything? Uh, you can bring them to Dino and he'll turn them into uh, accessories. Are they good accessories? They are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, when you find a mineral deposit like that, uh, you can absorb its energy yeah. and turn the elemental energy into it's magics. Time. Sounds good! Which is apparently a thing that the Lucius bloodline could do, I guess. Anywho, let's make a fish. I think we make the fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. I caught this fish, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> That looks really good. Yeah. I don't even like eating fish that much, and I want that fish. Mm. 
also, oh good, Prompto got a new Instagram filter. I uh, must look as terrible as all the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm saving that. I'm just saving all of the worst photos I can. Uh, Why would you take a picture at that moment? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to potentially die unless we run away. Time to take a photo. I would hate to try and pull off a road trip like this in some old jalopy. Oh yeah, that would definitely cramp my style. We can't live like kings, but we can travel like them. <laughs> I'd have been cool with a plain old car. Why's that? Not into the prince's procession thing. Oh! You want to lay low? Don't see why the car would be an issue. You managed to keep a low profile in the back seat. <laughs> Isn't it about time you made some headlines? Rather be in the obituaries. A lot of the writing in this is real good, and then other times Noctis is weirdly emo out of nowhere. <laughs> also, that conversation was weirdly top gear. Yeah. Like, I, I only want to drive across <laughs> this country <laughs> near this mine in a Lancia. <laughs> I want a car that'll fall apart when I look at it to drive across stones. <laughs> <laughs> Let me destroy nature to drive across a slight <laughs> gap. <laughs> Less than a day ago, this car was beat to shit. And Nero Tomat had a really good soundtrack. Yeah. I kind of wish there was more music from it in here than just went. Yeah, only two near songs, one from each game. I mean, that's still more than I would have thought. Yet they give you the in, like the entire Dissidia and Dissidia Duodecim soundtrack. We need to replenish our supply of cure. I am I am weirdly surprised they didn't just put other crap that Square Enix now owns. Like here's music <laughs> from Hitman. Why isn't there any music from The World Ends with You? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, I would have cut here, but uh, there's a quest we gotta do. You missed that collectible again, it's absolutely killing me. <laughs> there's a cat. <laughs> hey, buddy. Meow. What's up? Taking a little stroll? Meow. How come you're all alone? <sighs> you must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. That does remind me, though. Food. This this quest eventually has a sequel down the line. Excellent idea. Let's go. And, and it, I think I missed that. It does. It's the same thing as this quest, where it's like we could buy cat food or we could fish. Except, like, the cat food that you have to buy in that one costs like several hundred thousand gil. <laughs> so it's like, or we could fish. See you again. That's it. Good camera. Basically, unless you want to spend all your money on useless cat food, you're try. going to be fishing for that quest. Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't notice the cat food when I was in the shop, and at this point, I'm kicking myself because I ate that fish that I caught earlier. So it took entirely too long to catch another fish. But anyways. <laughs> You don't like fish? That cat hates fish so much it's about to jump off this bridge. <laughs> also, last episode I mentioned that the dynamic music doesn't really come into play anywhere except the hammerhead, and 
I need to rescind that because, as it turns out, it does in a lot of areas, including this, and also when you ride on chocobos. <laughs> Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. So, talking to this lady is not the quest. <laughs> You have to turn in the quest at a different spot than to talk to her. <laughs> this cat's putting, this, putting you for way too much shit, to be quite honest. Yeah. So, uh, let's go turn in that quest. No, damn it! <laughs> it changed at the last second to talk to her again. Ugh. <laughs> hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, I... There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these? How do you run out of fish? Your golden <laughs> key. <laughs> you know what? I think fish is my new favorite. Also, this is a really weird thing, because it's like, hey, go catch a fish for this uh, cat. Okay. Hey, we just ran out of fish. Can you go catch a fish? Well, I mean, I already had one on hand, so... <laughs> I'll start on it right away. I guess the idea is if you bought the cat food instead. Cats are clingy, and they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. Cats are picky eaters, huh? Well, take this fish I kept in my ass. <laughs> I kept this in the same hammer space dimension that I keep my fishing pole. <laughs> that sort of tipping a bottle of white wine over that fish, is it? Is that what the cat fucking likes? All right. This cat's an alcoholic and it's its choice. <laughs> this cat's got a sophisticated power. A spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Also, wow, that's a lot of experience for catching a fish. Clinging. Forever. Huh. Man, they really like puns when they localize this, huh? Just a bit. Welcome to Golden Key. Uh, Comrades is real bad about it, because, uh, due to it being Monster Hunter more than the regular game, uh, a lot of the mission titles are really just awful puns, including one where you find a bunch of snakes near a, uh, downed, like, airship, and it's straight up just called Snakes on a Downed Plane. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? No! I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one. <laughs> I really like that he's talking to Ignis because even Dino knows that Noctis doesn't know shit. Hands <laughs> of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. Uh, so, uh, expect Dino to secure this is the point of no return for the first chapter. We can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. So, uh, we'll do that, yeah, that next time. Artisan. Okay. But, uh, we're not quite done yet. I'm staring at this and I'm thinking to myself while I'm playing this, uh, probably not. This might take quite a while. Rush you nothing. Come back when you got everything in order. I was a, a little bit wrong. one of his pieces, just like that. Maybe he'll make some more for us. Yeah, for a pretty gill. Uh, worth it for a one-of-a-kind accessory. He may have come off as flippant and forceful, but I sense Dino is honest and hardworking at heart. Huh. Oh, sounds like he and I are two peas in a pod. Because Prompto is honest and hardworking at heart. <laughs> and he's got a lot more substance, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to make the joke. They're already pissing on him. <laughs> so I was going to stay here, but holy shit, that's 10,000 gil. Christ. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. 
Let's camp right outside this hotel. So, uh, remember how we mentioned last episode how weird it is that you can't cook when you're staying in some places uh, that aren't just, like, camps? Uh, I think I cut here in a second. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, there's a gonna play a cutscene when we get to our stop here. And it's gonna become even more increasingly obvious how weird it is that you can't cook at these places. Also, here's the speed trick. You go faster while you're hopping than you do while sprinting, and it also doesn't cost stamina. <laughs> it's kind of early, isn't it? Nah, it's cool. It's like, somebody was like, that hotel's too expensive. I'll set up a caravan right outside of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a trailer out here for people to stay in. But yeah, look, there's an oven in here! <laughs> Ignis looks at the damn oven! <laughs> it, it just doesn't meet Ignis's standards. I bet I could <laughs> fire some pottery in this. That joke sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Edit point. <laughs> All my jokes are terrible, so there's no editing around me. <laughs> Good picture. <laughs> Prompto's got two modes, taking photos of his friend's asses or taking photo of girls. <laughs> <laughs> but on that note, uh, we're going to call in for now. So uh, thanks for tuning in for Final Fantasy XV again, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Yep, see ya, folks. Oh, uh, before I quit or finish this, though, I should mention this is where you would want to watch King's Glaive if you're paying attention to the extended universe of Final Fantasy XV.